Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, Tariq here from uh, SmartBuyTrainers.com. RGT Cycling is a virtual cycling reality app available for Windows, Mac, and Apple TV. It is used in conjunction with their uh, RGT mobile app available for iOS devices and Android, and I'll talk about the app in a little more details uh, soon. This is my second look into RGT. They used to be called uh, Road Grand Tour, and they were in beta at the time. Now they are no longer in beta, and they offer two different type of subscriptions a free option and a premium option and I'll put the features you get with each subscription up on the screen. Basically if you want to have access to their workout library, ability to import your own custom workout, access to creating your own group rides and events and create your own magic roads, then you need to upgrade to the premium subscription which is $14.99 per month. $14.99 per month, Ruby is $12 per month for a premium membership. The Summerfest is $14.99 per month and Zwift is also $14.99 per month. And Trainer Road is the most expensive out of all of them at $19.95 per month. So RGT is the same price as Zwift and the Summerfest. Uh, RGT is in the same category as Zwift and somewhat different than Trainer Road and the Summerfest. So what makes RGT unique and worth the $14.99 price tag? Before we get into all the details of this app, if you find this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you want to know and learn more about indoor training and your smart trainer, consider subscribing to this channel. RGT is known for its close to realistic graphics. Uh, I am running it here in ultra mode and I'm getting around 60 frames per second. And you can also run it on Apple TV in ultra mode. However, your frame rate will drop to about 30 frames per second, which is still not too bad. And this is how it looks on a PC in ultra mode. And this is how it looks like on Apple TV in ultra mode. Now, this is low mode, medium, ultra mode, low, medium, ultra. I don't know how this is going to appear when I upload it to uh, YouTube. YouTube will do its own compression, but the details are a little sharper in ultra mode. Uh, the other modes are not that bad either. And you get a much smoother frame rate on a high-end gaming PC. Like here I am getting 60 frames per second using my PC compared to the 30 frames per second you get on Apple TV in ultra mode. And also you're watching this video in 30 frames per second, so you might not be able to actually see the difference between the two, but 60 frames per second is way much smoother. On top of the sharp graphics, uh, the riding physics are a lot more realistic too. For example, you will see the drafting effect when you are riding in a group ride, uh, your position in the draft and how many watts you are saving. Also, when taking sharp turns, your avatar will slow down before making those turns and lean into turns. Here, as I was coming down a very fast descent and right before taking that sharp turn, my avatar slowed down and leaned into the corners as uh, it was making that turn. So it looks so much more realistic than what you get with other apps out there. So the app itself is free to download, set up and use. Uh, you can uh, use it to ride any of the eight roads they have. Uh, these roads are in Belgium, Spain, United States. They have two routes in Italy, uh, France, United Kingdom, and Germany. You can also join different events like group rides and races. That's basically all you get for free, which isn't bad at all. Before we get into the premium features, let's talk about the mobile app. So RGT decided to go with the idea to control all aspects of the software using their RGT mobile app. There is really nothing you can do with the Apple TV remote, which can be a plus. If you run it on a PC, there is nothing you can do with your computer mouse or keyboard. Everything is done using the app. When you open RGT on Apple TV or your desktop for the first time, you will be asked to connect your app. And there is a code that you enter to pair your mobile app to the actual RGT simulator. You do this only once and it will always remember your phone. The app pairing screen will appear every time you open RGT and will go away once you open the app on your phone. With the mobile app, you can do all kinds of things. You can view riders currently riding the platform and if you select one, you will have the option to ride with them if you want to and view all kinds of different information about that rider. You can use it to ride real RGT roads, uh, magic roads, check out segments on each route and select where you want to start your ride from. Create an event, join an event or select a workout. Customize your avatar look, bike selection, glasses, helmets, etc. 
Also, all device pairing is also done and managed using the app. All you need to do once you start the ride is tap on the icon you want to pair. So for example, if you tap on the power, it will display all available power meters, including smart trainers, same with cadence and heart rate. Also with the app, you can control all aspects of the game. Uh, also the ride and camera angle. They have a lot of different camera angles that you can select. Uh, and you can toggle on and off the information you want to see on the screen. So if you do not want to see the rider's nearby screen, you can toggle that one off and it's no longer there anymore. If you tap on power, you will see a smoothing option or a power smoothing option slider that you can adjust to smooth out the power up to three seconds. Uh, under the slope, you will find the trainer difficulty setting, which we all know and love and can be adjusted here. So if you move the slider to 50%, it will simulate 50% of whatever slope you see on the screen. So if it's a 10% slope, you will feel like you are going up a 5% slope. Just like other trainer difficulty settings on other app, uh, all this will do is lower the resistance you might feel when climbing up hills, but it's not going to make you climb any faster. There are advantages and disadvantages to requiring the mobile app to do everything. It makes the user experience very similar across all devices, which is a big plus, especially with Apple TV, it eliminates the need to use that remote control to control any aspect of the game. Also, it gives them the ability to expand at a faster pace if they, if they decide to make their app available on other devices like Amazon Fire Stick, for example. Now, the main disadvantage is you have to have your phone with you all the time and do everything with your phone and that might get a little challenging when your palms are sweaty and arms are heavy, but you can still get out of the app and check your emails, browse your music playlist or podcast, or take that bike selfie that we all love uh, for your social media fans on Instagram. Uh, talking about workouts, this is a new feature they added. So now you can select one of the workouts they have in their workout library, which is limited, or upload your own workouts by sending an email with your Zwift workout file they also accept uh, .fit files, MRC, or ERG files. You can also connect your RGT with Training Peaks and have it automatically download the workouts of the day, which is what I did for my workouts. So the workout screen is very simple and self-explanatory. You will see your interval graph up on the top. The current interval will be colored in yellow. The completed intervals will be green. If you fail an interval, it will be colored in red. So like you see here, I failed my uh, rest interval. On the top left, you'll see your target power, target heart rate, and cadence if you have those set in your workout. You can toggle on and off erg mode uh, in the app and you will see your interval details in the app as well. If you turn erg mode off, it will go into sim mode uh, to sim and simulate the terrain itself. The problem with that, if you are on a climb and turn erg mode off to recover because you can't make the interval, then you're stuck on a climb and the resistance will remain high. Also, there is no way to adjust the intensity of the workout. So if you are having a bad day and need to lower the intensity of the workout by five to 10%, there is no way to do that. Also, there is no way to extend an interval or skip an interval if you want to. Also, there is no level mode or resistance mode available if you want to turn erg mode off and manually control the resistance. So the workout player is very limited and can use some attention. The next big feature they added is magic roads. So what are magic roads? Basically, these are your own roads that you create to simulate any route you want. So if you have a race, uh, for example, and want to simulate that course, uh, as long as you have a clean GPX file for that route, which you can create yourself, or if you uh, have written that course before, uh, then you might be able to download the GPX version of that ride. You can email it to RGT and they will recreate that route for you so you can ride it in, on your smart trainer. I emailed them a short three mile route uh, that I usually ride here. Uh, three days later, I received an email telling me that Magic Road is ready and you can ride that Magic Road anytime you want or create a group ride or even create a race on that route, which is pretty cool. Uh, here I created a group ride and as you see, they only recreate the elevation profile of that route, not the actual scenery. So if you're looking for that coffee shop that you like to visit during your ride, you're not gonna find it here but the actual elevation felt very good actually. I was actually impressed how good and smooth it was. And you will see the light blue grid looking thing in the horizon. This basically just to indicate this is a magic road, not their, one of the real roads.
Other features they added is races and creating your own group rides. When you create your own group rides, you have a bunch of options that you can select, like a number of bots you want to have riding with you, and if you want to have them uh, distributed bots or just random bots. And also you will get a link to invite your friends to your group ride or a race. Overall, this is by far the most legit app I have seen that might give Zwift something to worry about. However, it's still missing that social aspect that you get in Zwift, and that's going to be their biggest challenge over the next year or so. They didn't incorporate any reward system or incentive to bring people back and use the app. You get in, you ride, and you're out. With Zwift, I'm always chasing something. I'm always chasing, chasing drops, uh, even though I have not used them in a while, uh, getting thumbs up, uh, all the different challenges, badges, and all the things you unlock during the game. Uh, Zwift incorporated a reward system and different incentives uh, similar to what you see in video games that keeps riders entertained and uh, coming back for more. Uh, even though it's not real, but it's proven to be effective and video games use it all the time. RGT is free, somewhat free, and you guys keep asking me about free options, so here it is. Give it a try. Another good way to give it a try is if you have a train road subscription or a suffer fest, and want to enjoy a little scenery uh, or some distraction while you're doing your workout, you can run them simultaneously and get the best of both apps without having to pay a double membership. But would you pay $14.99 per month for RGT? The graphics on riding physics beats Zwift by a long shot. Uh, you can create your own group rides, races, and also your own routes. So those are things you are not going to find in Zwift and truly make them unique. Uh, it's been fairly stable for me on my PC. However, I ran into some issues with Apple TV where it just randomly stopped uh, responding. But on my PC, it was running pretty good and uh, I don't think I ran into any issues there. Okay, um, go give them a try and let me know what you think. And uh, let me know what you think about the price. Would you pay $14.99 for RGT or would you rather spend that money on a different app? Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like it if you did. And if you're still watching and have not subscribed yet, then you know what to do. Again, thanks for watching. And see you guys in the next video.